Today we shall be testing the discharge feature of the IMAX B6 battery balance charger. Now I have these three cells charged to 4.19 volts. Let's turn on the power supply. Mm. Sometimes it takes too much power for that to start. Now I'm feeding this with 16 volts DC for my power supply. This is the IMAX B6 battery charger. And we will be trying to discharge this and counting the, the capacity of each cell. I believe this has super low uh, capacity because these are like this from old laptop batteries I found. And these are from laptop batteries that haven't been used ne nearly as much. So they should, be, they should have more capacity. So here we are with the IMAX B6 battery balancer. And let's go to LiPo. And go to discharge. And then we'll, we'll want to discharge at one amp and it'll discharge down to 3 volts. Hold this down. And now it is discharging. The voltage has gone down quite a bit because as you'll probably know, whenever you pull power from a battery, it drops in voltage because of the load. Now it's only pulling... Oh, okay, it's, it's pulling a full 1 amp. And it's, it's counting up the time. It's showing the voltage, which is a bit off from this, but I think that's just due to the resistance of the wire itself, or perhaps this meter just it isn't calibrated to the right voltage and it's counting up the milliamp hours of capacity this is how many mm, one thousandth of an of an amp hour that is being consumed by this charger because it's heating up a little bit just slightly and so we'll let that go and see how long uh, how many milliamp hours of, of capacity it has well the battery only showed 191 milliamp hours of current and it went back up to 4.09 volts so I think we're just not bringing the voltage down far enough so let's go to something less like lead I think maybe nickel cadmium that goes down to 0 0.1 volts that'll be plenty enough There we go. So now let's let's bring the voltage down to 2.5 or so volts. Well, it's down to 2.5 volts, and it's gotten 393 milliamp hours of capacity. And the voltage has gone back up to 3.82 volts. So you know, what? I think we can go a little bit longer with this. Well, it's been going on for a little bit more. It's down to 1.8 volts, 1.9 over here. It actually got down to 1.4 volts, then it started going back up because it, now it's getting pretty hot. So we'll stop it there at 233 milliamp hours. That gives us like 800 milliamp hours of current. And it, the voltage goes back up to pretty high. So I guess the voltage will probably stop at like 3.8 volts. Let's try the green one now. And I believe the, the weirdness coming from that battery is just because it, it's so old and such low capacity that it's... It's just, it doesn't keep a stable voltage, but this one might keep a more stable voltage. So here we are with the green battery, which I hope should be like 2 amp hours. And it's at 4.19 volts, and let's start it. Well, that was weird. It went down to like 3.19 volts, and then it went back up to 3.8. Seems a little more stable now, so interesting. I'd have to say I call that quits. 1800 milliamp hours. And the voltage goes back up to 3.6 volts. And finally, the, the red cell is at 4.2 volts exactly. And let's discharge that one. And I discovered that with nickel cadmium, you can change the lower voltage. So let's make a cutout at 2 volts exactly. Now it's discharging, and it'll be counting up the milliamp hours of capacity. And I'm pretty happy, I was pretty close. This was basically 2 amp hours. Awesome! It's almost there. Thirteen hundred milliamp hours of capacity. That's okay.
Let's see what voltage it gets back up to. 3.3 volts. Might, might even go up to 3.4. But I have to say I'm pretty happy with that. Even though that's probably half of the original capacity, it's still more than enough for little tinkering experiments. But back to the main subject of the video, the IMAX B6 battery balance charger. I have to say, I am pretty pleased with it. Well, pleased with it for its $30 price tag. If it was more expensive, I would expect better features, because it seems like they got the numbers right, or they got the settings right, but they mixed them all up. Or lithium ions, they don't discharge them far enough, but yet nickel cadmium is kind of like more of a custom setting, so just use nickel ca the nickel cadmium and nickel metal hydride settings for discharging, because then you can set your own voltage. And for the lithium ion, that's, that's kind of the voltage they make it drop to isn't low enough, so it's kind of useless. But charging is okay. Well, then again, I guess charging does have some issues too. But it does get it close enough to it. It's just, whenever it charges it, it tries to charge it with too much amperage, and so then it overshoots it, and so when it stops charging, the battery springs back down to a lower voltage. But oh well. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. See ya!